hi love welcome back in today's class we are making these beautiful valentine roses if you are new to this channel my name is miss Ai, and my love you're welcome 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 please subscribe to our channel and if you're a returning subscriber thank you my love darling sweetheart let's get right into class I'll be using this 50 gram milk cotton for the projects in red, pink and green. And I'll be using this wire stick but if you don't have wire stick, please use your bamboo stick. Yeah, that works perfect. I'll show you how to do that as we proceed. Also, I'll be using my glue gun, scissors, a 3.0 millimeter hook and this is the sample of the flower i made so with the wire stick let's get right into class to begin with you are going to make a slip knot and chain 60. you're going to chain 60 and this is how to make your chains So make your 60 chains and I'll meet you when I have my 60 chains complete. After your 60 chains, you are going to make a double crochet in the fourth stitch. So this is row one. Skip three, make double crochet in your fourth stitch. You will have something like this, an opening. Now you are going to chain four. Make a double crochet in the same space where you made your double crochet. Prepare for the double crochet. So it's going to be like it's like a V stitch. Prepare for a double crochet, skip four, and make a double crochet in the fourth stitch. Chain four. Make a double crochet in the same stitch. Skip four again on your chain. Sorry, skip three and make a double crochet in your fourth chain or your fourth space. Chain four and make a double crochet in the same space. So this is the pattern for row one. So double crochet, chain four, make double crochet in the same space. Skip four. Skip three and double crochet in your fourth stitch. So keep doing this until the end of the row. I'll meet you when I'm at the end. You should end your row with a double crochet. Skip four, skip three, sorry, and make a double crochet in your fourth stitch. So the remaining is three chains and I can't work on it. So chain three, turn your work. And now we are going to make a second row, make 12 double crochet in the four chain space. 12 double crochets. After your 12 double crochets, 
in the chain four space and your last you are going to make a single crochet in the very next space make a single crochet and prepare for it 12 double crochets again in the four chain space chain four space go in with 12 double crochets and this is the pattern for row two so we are going 12 double crochets and a single crochet in the next space 12 double crochets and a single crochet in the next space if you don't want to change your color then you would work this until the end of the row but if you want to change color you would work four after four 12 double crochets you are going to change color and make your next color and I'll show you how to change your colors as we move on so go ahead and make your 12 double crochets and next you make your single crochet so make two more 12 double crochets and 12 double crochets and I'll meet you and we change our color to change our color make your single crochet and don't pull out you are going to pass your second color through and you have your complete single crochet and as we we're doing before make your 12 double crochets in the chain four spaces so make 12 double crochet in chain four spaces make your single crochet 12 double crochets in your chain four spaces make your single crochet just as we started so we are going to make five of these with the pink yarn so go ahead and make your five 12 double crochets with the pink yarn and i'll meet you and we change back to our red yarn and complete the row at this point my love my sweetheart if you haven't subscribed to the channel please 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 do and if you're a returning subscriber thank you darling thank you sweetheart thank you my love for always coming back to us let us know under the comment section below what you feel about our video and what you want to see on the channel So after your five pink 12 double crochet you're going to cut your yarn and now you're going to continue with your red yarn you're going to make four double crochets four 12 double crochets to end your row so you would have four 12 double crochets in the beginning the middle is five and the last is four and at the end you are going to make your last single crochet at the end chain two or one cut and fasten your yarn and we are done with the first part of our work now to the second part you are going to make your magic circle and this is how i make my magic circle after your magic circle you are going to chain one chain one after you chain one you're going to go inside your magic circle with 10 half double crochets so this is one two three make 10 half double crochets inside your magic circle After your 10 half double crochets, you are going to pull to close the magic 
ring or magic circle slip stitch inside your chain one space and you have this now for row two you are going to chain three and go inside the same space with a double crochet making it two now go in each stitch with two double crochets in each stitch go in with two double crochets so at the end of the row you should be having 20 double crochets go ahead and i'll meet you when i'm done with my 20 double crochets so your 20 double crochets you're going to slip stitch in the chain three spaces at the top and your work should be looking like this now to the final row you are going to chain eight after your eight chains you are going to skip first one and in the second stitch make a slip stitch in the next stitch make a single crochet in the next stitch make a single crochet in the next stitch make half double crochet In the next stitch make half double crochet in the next stitch make double crochet and in the last stitch make your double crochet and you are going to count four and slip stitch in the feet stitch chain eight again you should have something like this chain eight again Skip one, make slip stitch in the next stitch. Two single crochets in the following two stitches. Two half double crochets in the following two stitches. And two double crochets in the last two stitches. Skip four and make your slip stitch in the fifth stitch. You are going to go around with this until the end of the row. You should be having five. But if you have more than five, that's also fine. So go ahead and go around and I'll meet you at the end. At the end you are going to slip stitch and chain one or two cards and fasten your yarn and we are done with the second part of our rose flower now to the third part should be having something like this to the third part you'll be needing your wire and i got 0 0.2 millimeter but it's very very thin so i'm going to be doubling it so i'll just take this and curl two together so i would have a bit thicker so you're going to start off with a slip knot we are going to be making the leaf now make 10 chains You're going to skip one and make a single crochet in the next space make half double crochet in the following stitch and make a double crochet in the next stitch make two treble crochet in the same the next stitch make your first treble crochet and make the second one inside the same space now make a treble crochet in the next stitch make two treble crochets in the next stitch again this is your first treble and this is your second treble in the same stitch you 
should be having something like this make the next stitch you are going to make your double crochet and you are going to make your half double crochet and make your single crochet in the last stitch make two single crochets again in the last stitch so the last stitch will have three single crochets and that is the end of one part now then you're going to be working on the next part so you're going to work half double crochet in the first space followed by your double crochet followed by your treble crochet and now make another treble crochet in the same space make a treble crochet in the next space make two treble crochet in the next space two treble crochet all inside one space make your double crochet in the next stitch in the next stitch you are going to make your half double crochet and make your single crochet so you're going to make your next half double crochet and at the top part you are going to make your single crochet by this point you can decide to slip stitch as well but i love to make single crochet now we are going to be introducing our wire and work our last row around the wire this row can be worked in double crochet sorry single crochets but if you want you can make what i'm doing so in the following stitch you are going to make a single crochet chain two make a single crochet in the next space so you are going around with a single crochet chain two and a single crochet chain two in each stitch chain two make a single crochet chain two a single crochet in the following chain two and go around with single crochet chain two single crochet chain two and at the end that's where you start from the top part of the wick you are going to make a slip stitch and cut and fasten make a slip stitch chain two or one cut and fasten your yarn so this is it chain two cut and fasten your yarn and that is your beautiful leaf you are done you can make two of these but i'm only going to be making one in this video but preferably you can use you can make two leaves to give it that more natural look either than that one is fine one is perfect and you can use your wire if you have or a bubble stick if you don't have a wire wire measures five inches and the bubble stick measure 11 inches so if you're using a bubble stitch it's taller enough so you can really play along with your leaves how close you want it but if you're using the wire you know you don't have the luxury to bring you have to, everything to is supposed to be close so now you're going to wrap your rose around your stick and this is how i wrap my beginning is always a problem that's why you saw i turned the wire so i would hold it down and wrap it around firmly wrap it around so firm and the excess yarn from the bottom that is the reason why we didn't cut it we only cut the other side but not the beginning or the ending side you can choose to leave one side 
to tie it well to make it firm and this is what your work should be looking like after firmly attaching your flower so now we are going to insect our first project and we will have a more natural look now we are going to be using our hot glue gun to attach the flowers so it will be very thick and firm together now to wrap your yarn around the stick you're going to be needing a baboon you're going to be needing the glue gun to start from the beginning so as to hold your yarn firm as you wrap it so just wrap it around a few times attach your leaf and keep wrapping it until the end of the row that's why i'm saying if you're using the bamboo stick your leaf will not be so close to your work but now i don't have the luxury to wrap it around and position the leaf this is the only advantage of using a bamboo stick and after wrapping cut all those ends and you are done your work should be looking like this until we meet next week my love happy valentine's and it's bye for now